point. You ask Namaste Acharyaji, what does it mean to be a true man in today's society? I feel like there has been an, an attack on masculinity. Immoral behavior seems to be normalized also. Yes, indeed. And let me just say before I, before I talk about this, and I will be talking about this in brief, because I have addressed this many, 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 many times. Indeed, we have several videos out now where I talk about the art of manhood, what it means to be a man, etc. And then in addition to entire videos that are dedicated to this topic, I talk about this topic within videos, answering questions, etc. But generally speaking, let me indeed talk about this a little bit. First of all, there is indeed a standard for what it means to be a true man. You know, for those individuals who would want to ridicule this, oh, true man, what does it mean to be the... No, there is a standard. There is a standard for everything. There is a standard for what it means to be a true woman. There's a standard for what it means to be a true man, etc. And again, I've gone very in-depth into this, so I'm just going to scratch the, the surface of this a little bit. Indeed, what it means to be a true man, very simply, is a male who is fully comfortable with, who is in touch with, and who, in a very healthy way, manifests his inherent masculinity in such a way as to be fulfilled himself and a benefit to the world around him. How is that for a definition? That's what it means to be a true man very simply. No, not machismo. No, not the stereotypes, stereotypes, caricatures, caricatures that the demonic media has thrown at us since the 60s. Oh, uh, men are dumb. They just want to have their man cave. They only care about sports. They just want to grunt and scratch and they want to abuse women and blah, 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 blah. I can tell you in the ISDS, we don't have one man who fits that description. And truthfully, not just the ISDS, that's not a true man. What it means to be a true man is, again, similar to what I was saying before, an individual who is a sigma, a sigma male, an individual who actually, for the most part, has a quiet dignity, who is not loud all the time, but who has a quiet dignity, but who cultivates wisdom, who cultivates virtue, who cultivates inner discipline, self-control, self-mastery, etc. An individual who is accustomed to self-sacrifice, that he is accustomed to sacrificing for his family. He is accustomed to being there for his wife, for his children, for his relatives, for his friends. He is somebody who can be relied upon, etc., etc. And I can give a list stretching further than my arm times a hundred. This is what it means to be a true man. Now, all that being said, Indeed, to get back to your question here, there has indeed been an attack on masculinity. You say you feel as if there has been. No, there has been. You're not the only one. Everybody not only feels that, but knows it. There has been a concerted, purposeful attack on masculinity. As far as why, again, too in-depth to go into in this venue. In quite a few of my videos, I go very in-depth into what the motivations have been to have this concerted, very purposeful attack on masculinity. And to state it very simply, it's to make people weak. And why make people weak? Well, weak people can be conquered. That simple. So all that being said, indeed, we are to, that is, those individuals who are in the audience who are indeed men, you are to fully embrace your masculinity in a very balanced sort of way. Again, very balanced sort of way. You can be the sort of individual who can be, this is the standard, be as gentle as a lotus flower and as hard as a thunderbolt when needed. When needed, that's a man. That's a man.